Auckland scientists are celebrating an important breakthrough after zeroing in on a rare genetic mutation causing motor neuron disease. The work is now being published in the journal Brain. National correspondent Amanda Gillies spoke to the lead scientists for her third and final story in her series on motor neuron disease. So this is some brain tissue that's been stained to see where the proteins lie. It's precious and invaluable. Human brain tissue and more than 40 Kiwis and international patients, many who died from motor neuron disease, generously donated theirs to Dr Emma Scotter. It's led to a medical breakthrough. She and her team at University of Auckland have figured out how to tell the difference between harmful and harmless mutations of a rare gene causing the disease. I would say it's a breakthrough in... Um, in understanding the genetic code. So we're really excited that you can now look in the tissue and understand what went wrong. So for those who have a genetic test that gives a red flag for the gene, that can be determined whether they're at risk of MND or not. Work towards a treatment which would eliminate rogue versions of the gene is now underway in Dr Scotter's lab. She's also working with live patients who donate blood to test their genes to determine a genetic cause. That's what people really want to know. What does this mean for my children? Are they at risk? Um, and in one case, we've been able to go back to the family and say, we found the cause of your motor neuron disease. And the family were able to be tested and the younger generation could have a baby born free of that gene. She describes it as the most amazing and heartwarming experience from their genetic testing. Being able to change the fate of a family no longer passing down this gene and um, risking passing down motion neuron disease. That's amazing. Mm, yeah, That's the, whole, really the whole team were in tears. Yeah. About 400 Kiwis are tonight living with motor neuron disease. In about 90% of cases, there is no known family history. The rest is known to be inherited. Scientists have linked 35 genes to the disease and believe environmental toxins play a role. What's not in doubt is the disease can be brutal. People lose the ability to move everything, including the muscles of breathing. From diagnosis to death, around two years. Um, total of three years from onset. That's the average. She now hopes her work will continue to provide important pieces in the giant puzzle of motor neuron disease. Amanda Gillies, News Hub.